All right, here's our plan for the hour. Up at this lesson for Wednesday the 13th, you're going to find this video and I'll walk you through the whole process of building that homemade uh, Valentine's item for whoever you want to make it for, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever. So click here and watch that video because here it is right now. All right, I've taken my... Uh, some time, drew up a couple different hearts using a piece of paper and a marker. Made about 84 mistakes. But I got one that I like. So I took my cell phone, took a photo of it. Um, if you have no cell phone, maybe you can borrow a classmate's cell phone to get a photo of it. Um, so I'll show you that in a second. Hold on. So here's the one I drew. I like it. Got the heart just how I want it. Got, I spelled my mom's name right, so I, I'm happy with this one. Um, but to bring this one into the plasma cam, there's a lot of extra area I don't need. So I'm going to crop that out on my phone to get a little bit cleaner version. The same photo, I just filtered it about 84 times, crop it down. This is the one I want to use. Okay. Um, so also on your phone, you want to install the app called Google Drive. And then on your phone, transfer your picture to your Google Drive so you can find it. Okay, here's my Google Drive. Here are my photos. I found them. Next step is to take this picture you just downloaded to your phone and go to the school computer, log into the school computer, access your Google Drive, and then download that picture that was from your phone, currently on your Google Drive, download it to the computer you're working on. Got it. And I'm going to go to show in folder. I don't know where it is. Okay, mine is in my downloads folder. I can find that, downloads folder. Next step, uh, on the whiteboard, look over on the whiteboard, you're gonna find the address called, I think it's www pixeler.com slash editor. It's on the whiteboard. You look over there, see it? Right there, yep, that's it. That's where you want to go. Um, it may ask you that, hey, hi there, your flash player is not cooperating. So you want to click here to enable that flash player and then allow access to the file. It's an online photo editing program. It's going to work just as well as what we need to work for. So this one we're going to try. I'm going to open an image from my computer. And mine's in downloads. There's my file. I'm going to open it. Okay, there it is. And I'm not going to do much editing to it. Um, I may do a little bit of, hold on. Right, I'm going to try a little bit of adjusting these things called levels. And I'm gonna take and say I wanna have um, this color of black on my screen a little bit darker. So if I increase the amount of blacks, so it kinda gets darker, I make the more rich color of, if I go full, might be too much. If I'm just the right amount where the white is still white, but this black is a little bit more rich, a little more vivid. I like that. Okay, so again, I went to adjustments, levels, and I increased the amount of the richness of the color of black. So I drug the slider over. Then I'm going to go to file. I'm going to save. Here I want to pick the format that works with our plasma cutter, and it's a, a format called BMP. BMP. Um, this you'll type in your name so you know whose it is. Let me set it to the plasma cutter. So I'm going to save this as Upsol. Go into my computer. I'm going to go to downloads. Okay, I'll find that. I'm going to save it. Image save. Done. Next step. So now that we have your, your image done, um, you got to bring this image over to a shared folder. So we're going to access it at the plasma cam. So back on Schoology, there's a link called 
drop your plasma cam files here. Oh, let me fix that. Hold on. Let me fix that. Let's go back. I'm going to edit this to make it do that. Now I'll try it. There it works. So I'm going to choose from my computer. Mine is called Downloads um, Upsol.bmp. Open it. I'm going to upload that. And then wait for it. <whistles> Done. All right. So now I'm going to, um, on Thursday, we're going to access these files and then cut these files. And your final piece of the puzzle for the day is um, look inside this folder. There's a new assignment to tinker on. And then you are done for the hour. Hey, good luck.